Hello and welcome to day five. I couldn't decide if I wanted to wear a Santa hat or these really cool, <laughs> this really cool, you know, light bulb. So I'm wearing both. Be a little kooky today. Day five, five days to Christmas. Oh my gosh. Yes. So day five, the theme is too good to be true. But before we get there, let's go to day five. Sandy Claus is my hero. That's right. In the movie, he thought it was Sandy Santa, instead of Santa Claus, it was Sandy Claus, which is very funny. All right, let's, all right, making some chairs. Ah, okay. Ooh, Red Sox. What does it say? Okay, let me see. Oh, it says right on here. Sandy Claus is my hero. Got some long socks to keep me nice and warm this winter season. All right, too good to be true. So it is holiday season. If you get an email or anything, I know we should all know this thing that you want a shopping spree. Did you sign up for a shopping spree? No, it is too good to be true. If someone offers you money, it is too good to be true on your cash app. If someone sends you money that should not be there, do not accept it. It is too good to be true because it is. I know you're like, oh my gosh, I deserve this. I need this. Someone sent me a thousand dollars via cash app. No, it is a scam. Do not accept it. Sometimes things are too good to be true. Just say no. Um, if you're really wondering, maybe it is supposed to be for you, call someone. Like, for example, I got a letter in the mail from Wells Fargo telling me that I need to cash this check. It was like a $500 check. I got it about mm, a month ago. I don't have a bank account with Wells Fargo. It looked real. Everything on it looks so real. So I'm thinking, why would, why would they send me money? They said it was because... 12 years ago, there was some error in my banking, like it's Monopoly or something, call back to Monopoly. So I called the number just to double check. You know, that'd be great if I really deserve the money, but I don't. Just called the number and it was some weird number that made no sense. It was not even Wells Fargo. And I and then just to do extra due diligence is I Googled online Wells Fargo um, letters saying, um, giving you checks, even put in the address because it looks so official, but it was not. Guess what? It was a scam. I did not put the check in my banking account, but sometimes you're, it might be too good to be true. So you got to do your due diligence. It takes a little extra time. And trust me, checking to see if it's fake is way better than putting a the uh, fraudulent check in your account and dealing with all of that. So if it's too good to be true, it is. That is your tip for today. See you guys tomorrow.